<laughs> Do you know what happened there when they started cheering? I heard that the former REA president, Doug Hill, was smiling or something or laughing. I don't know. It's so classless. And look, don't tell me that you're concerned about your the children's education. That's your job. That's offensive to me as a child of two teachers. My parents busted their butts and took really low pay for a long time. And the one thing they cared about was getting their kids from point A to point B. These people have nothing but self-interest. All they care about is protecting themselves. Every, every, every decent teacher knows that if you want to really move a student, especially a troubled student, from, from, from where they are to where they need to be, you have a great working relationship with all of their centers of influence, a, a parent, a pastor, a coach, right? You have relationships with those because they help move the child along and you have a, a commonality of purpose and you understand what you're doing. These people... Now, this is about attacking. You're attacking my system, so I'm going to attack you back. And the, the the unprofessionalism of the teachers, like I still, like they were holding up signs trying to block her from the video, right. not the voice of our teachers. Like it's just, you just don't do things as a professional. You, you just don't. You, I mean, that's like being a public servant. I mean, it, all common sense has went out the window with politics and professionalism anyways, sure. but you just didn't do those types of things as, as a public servant, as a teacher, as a professional, you just have to sit there and listen to both sides. You don't have to agree with them, but you're not there waving signs and trying to prevent people's first amendment right for speaking and stuff like that. It's just wrong. And that's the nastiness that has evolved in this conversation. And they should know better because they're supposedly teaching these values to our kids.